Well, hey folks, welcome back to the Trespasser Let's Play. Today we're doing level 6, The Ascent, part 1. Now, this level will test your survival skills like none other. There are a number of sections with some lonely walking, but there are enough dinosaurs in here to make life difficult under the best of circumstances. These are, however, not the best of circumstances. There's precious little weaponry in this level. You may not have enough ammo to fight all the enemies, even if you manage to get headshots on all of them. Fortunately, there are a number of good makeshift weapons, even if most of them are human remains. As such, you'll have to be very creative, very precise, and very careful about who you fight. I smelled of wet leaves, damp earth, rotting wood. You'll need to be able to read the various raptors to determine if they're likely to attack or not, because not all of them will. When I was little, I dreamed of a time when the entire world was covered by an ancient forest. Great hunters stalked in the cool darkness, among silent huge columnar trees, oaks and sequoias. Don't waste your ammo on raptors that aren't interested in fighting you. Don't take on foes bigger than you, and finally, when the environment presents itself with a defense against pursuing dinosaurs, take advantage of it. The layout on this level is as simple as can be. You just go in a straight line, hang it right at the AK-47, and keep going until you find a Mayan temple. No time for dawdling. Let's get going. Now due to the lack of weapons in this level, we're going to find ourselves doing kind of a Metal Gear Solid through a lot of this area. Sometimes the best you can do is skulk around in the woods and hope nobody sees you. Luckily, I think I've just about figured out this aiming system. The more headshots I can manage to get, the easier this run is going to be. Now, it breaks my heart to throw this away, but I really need to keep weapons that have a full clips. There are a lot of areas where you come up dry, and I fully intend to carry this toxic rifle to the end. Here we go, a trusty M14. Can't do much better than that on a level where accuracy is paramount. Now, instead of lining up the sights to aim down the barrel, I've been lining up the sights on all the guns to aim towards the middle of the screen. It's about as close as I can get to a crosshair system. Well, that was not a good start. Well, as they say, discretion is the better part of valor. You just gotta know when to run. Now from this level on, the game likes to start throwing in multiple raptors at a time. We've got this Tribe B guy right up ahead of us, and then another one farther up the hill. Throughout this level, you can find yourself fighting two or three raptors at a time. Now, what I'm trying to do here is the old bait and switch. If I can shoot one, get him interested, I can draw him away and take care of him on his own. The real problem comes when you're under attack by multiple enemies simultaneously. It usually gets to be a real big problem, so I'm going to do my best to avoid that at all costs. Seven. Okay, forget what I said about aiming, I don't have this figured out at all. And in cases like this, all you can do is run for it. Now you'll probably notice that I bunny hop a lot. It helps Anne get moving faster over uneven terrain, otherwise she kind of hangs up on stuff. One. Okay, and here we go again. One raptor down in the valley, another behind this big rock. Now you can see the hunter remains here at the edge of the rock. This was pretty obviously a person, but there's something interesting here. Now according to the script of the game that I have, Hammond is supposed to have several lines in reference to the bodies that you find all throughout this level. Thing is though, I've played this level several times and I've never heard him. I'm not even sure those sound clips are in the game. According to the script here, Hammond's line for this guy here is... An ex-policeman from South Africa, a sort of soldier of fortune character. And now they're coming in from both sides. This is going to take some tricky timing. Okay, I got a grand strategy here. First, I'm going to run up to this guy and I'll shoot him in the nose. Okay, you know what? Forget it. We're out of here. 
Well, things don't always work out the way you hope. Now we're going to keep on moving down the valley. The developers expected you to be out of ammo right around here, so off to the left is a supply crate. But of all of the things they could have put in there, they decided a sledgehammer was going to be the most useful item that you could have right here. I'm not going to go over there for obvious reasons. I think I can just blitz on past these guys. You know, aside from all the velociraptors, this is a very pretty level. I wish more of the levels made me feel like I was dinosaur hunting in Yosemite. There's an AK over the ridge there. If I can get to it, I think we'll be in good shape. I can smell the ocean. Well, Anne's certainly got her priorities straight when she's got two velociraptors chomping on her heels. Now here we are at the edge of the gully. We'll just hop up the ridge here, and on the other side we'll find a very, very useful weapon that I'm hoping is going to last us a while. Hasn't and here we go, an AK-47 with a drum magazine. Well, looks like this hotshot decided to follow us. Let's show him why that's a bad idea. Oh, buddy. Okay, let's just fix this here, and we're good. Let's keep going. Full clip. And looks like his buddy came along too. In order to take these guys down, we pretty much have to get right up in their face. The AK is great, but the recoil makes the accuracy a little bit spotty. It's half gone. Oh, that's bad news. Looks like this thing isn't going to last us quite as long as I thought. Now we'll keep chugging along. Beautiful view over there. Nice view of the ocean, I suppose. Now this level has a very special weapon. The Toxic Rifle. You'll remember this from The Lost World. Linstrat Air Rifle. Fires a subsonic Fluger impact delivery dart. Does it work any better than your satellite phone? That's funny. I loaded it with the enhanced venom of Conus Pepper Acid. South Sea Cone Shell. The uh, most powerful neurotoxin in the world acts within a two thousandth of a second, which is faster than the nerve conduction velocity. So the animal's down before it even feels the uh, prick of the dart. Is there an antidote? What do you mean, like if you shot yourself in the foot? Don't do that. You'd be dead before you even realized you had an accident. Toxic rifle's the only weapon that can bring down a T-Rex, and even then it's a little bit tricky. You need to get all headshots, and the thing only has three darts. I hope you're good with this thing. Now my script says that Hammond has another line related to those hunters back there, and it is as follows. Known as the Maharaja to his fellows, highly skilled but only works alone. He was meant to radio for pickup from the comm station. Six left. Now this area can be kind of fun to fight in if you feel like playing around. You see that great big old cliff over there leading down to the ocean on the left? Well, you can kill raptors with that in two different ways. Now, the first is you can make like in that movie Tremors, or you get them to charge you and then you jump out of the way at the last second and they fly off the side. The second is if you can get the enemies to walk along the edge of that cliff, you can shoot them and they'll jump back and they'll usually jump right off the cliff. Pretty funny to watch, but usually more trouble than it's worth. Now, I really didn't have a choice back there. I had to kill those two raptors. They're both set to max aggression, so if I had tried to run past them, they would have followed me to the ends of the earth. And in this game, that's not very far away. So that could be a real problem. So now we're just going to walk along here, walk under the trees and the shade, enjoy the scenery, and catch our breath a little bit before the next big set of fights. Now 
Now down there I see two raptors and a jeep. That jeep is supposed to have a hunting rifle, but I've never gone down there before. We're gonna zip on down there and we're gonna see if we can get our hands on that stuff. A hunting rifle ought to be real useful for the next stretch. Alright, they spotted me. Let's try the old bait and switch again. If, if I can lure them out one at a time, I can make short work of them. Okay, the strategy's off to a bad start. I'm gonna make a break for the hunting rifle. Uh-oh, didn't notice that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the third of the raptor species, the tribe C raptor. Now, let me just really quickly see if I can, and that's no go. Alright, let me try this again. Four. Beautiful. This strategy is off to a much better start than last time. Now, the Tribe C Raptors are by far the most dangerous of the three. They're fast, they're tenacious, they're aggressive, and they have the health of a Peterbilt truck. I swear. Unless you get a bunch of headshots, you're looking at unloading an entire weapon into these guys before you can drop them. When you start running into two and three of them at a time, all you can do is run for it. They're bad news and that's saying something. Alright, I think that went pretty well. Now it's time for the hunting rifle to save us. Around ten. Nine. Eight. Well, looks like even Tribe C Raptors aren't immune to that neck compression thing that the Raptors like to do in this game. Trust me, they're much more impressive when they're stretched out to their full length. Alright, this is getting embarrassing. I just need to put some distance between us so I can line up the dang sights on this rifle properly. If any of the guns in this game are not to be used at close range, it's this one. Six. Four. Three. Dinosaur Park. What a great idea. Get a load of that. Four shots from the hunting rifle, and one of them was a headshot. Well, looks like he's stuck that way. Bad luck, I guess. The hunting rifle does huge damage in this game, and I'm sure you're getting the idea of what we're going to be up against here. You know, parts of this level remind me of Halo. You know, with the long valleys and the pine trees everywhere. I mean, it's really similar visually. But then you might say, but research, Halo was a beautiful game. How can you say that these look anything alike? And I would say, well, you have to remember that Trespasser is an older game. And you might reply, but research, Halo came out six months after Trespasser did. And I wouldn't have anything to say about that. Empty. Looks like 20. Damn and blast. You know, I bet Ann's gonna leave this island with some pretty impressive scars. Now, as I was poking around online, I found something pretty interesting that a few of you might find amusing. It is a poem about trespassers. Allow me to read some of it for you here. An island filled with dinosaurs is not the place to be, but for Anne she has stumbled on there, on the famous place, Site B. A passing group of brachiosaurs is a wonderful sight to see, but something just around the corner is something very deadly. Velociraptors, deadly hunters, intelligent, vicious as they hunt in a pack, Anne will have to be very careful and to always watch her back. 
Further across the island, more encounters with hungry carnivores, but none are more frightening than the mighty Tyrannosaur. The abandoned InGen village, is there a phone nearby? The broken radio in the communication center is almost enough to make Anne cry. Tired and exhausted, Anne continues on her way. Ever since she first set foot on this island, she knows she has become prey. At the InGen laboratory, reboot the computer to open the gate. After passing these paddock doors, what will be Anne's fate? I'm sorry guys, I cannot finish this. I'm just gonna keep playing now. I think I can bag this guy. If I can get all headshots, I'm pretty sure I can bring him down. Alright, this is taking too long. Let's just open her up. Eight, six, five, three, one, empty. Bueno, just right. And here we got another perfectly good M14 and another gut. Dang, Tribe C Raptor sneaking up on us on the right here. Well, that'll learn you. And looks like you brought a friend. Nine. Good God, look at that. He's bleeding like a French whore on Bastille Day. It's everywhere. Eight. Six, four. Well, with the immediate threat out of the way, we'll continue up the valley and deal with an entirely new danger and trespasser. Now, all these dinosaurs that I just took care of here, like many of the other dinosaurs in this level, had to be killed right here. They were all set to max aggression, which means that if I had tried to blitz on through, they all would have just followed me and followed me and followed me until they eventually caught up. Now this is the one area where that might not have worked under normal circumstances because up ahead is the Mayan trap wall. You'll see what I mean in just a little bit. Supposedly you can lure the dinosaurs in there, but really if you're trying to pay attention to dinosaurs while you're wandering around in there, you're definitely going to get yourself killed. So I decided to take care of them here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mayan ruins and just in time for the new Indiana Jones movie too. Now this place is a bastard and a half. Goddamn traps everywhere. I don't know if the designers thought they were being cute or what, but I'll tell you, it's just an annoyance. You'll see me jumping a lot in here. Anne has some trouble getting upstairs, which makes all this doubly annoying. Well there you go folks, you've just seen all the Mayan trap wall has to offer. It's just these two traps, the falling wall and the falling rock face thing, over and over and over. Now I'll just see if I can get through this thing without accidentally getting myself killed. Alright, I know how these traps work now. Three. Now the dang thing can't fall down the stairs on me. Oh, not cool. You know, I gotta give the Mayans points for creativity. I gotta get something like this for my house. Forget Dragon Chuck security alarms. I want a five ton stone block to fall on my intruders. Okay, and we are clear of the trap stairs. Now up ahead there is a little Mayan village. There's a number of Tribe C raptors spooking around up there, but it's almost the end. Just past the village we'll find the temple, and then that's the end of the level. Gotta admit, I am impressed by the sound effects all throughout this level.
mostly through the game really, but around here they really hammer home the feeling of great big heavy rocks falling on things. It's a nice touch. The buildings followed a scheme I only vaguely understood, marking seasons, the lunar year, and the movement of the stars. Well, there's a Tribe C Raptor up there, and our M14 is dry. Luckily, there are a couple of weapons in these buildings, so let's go snag one. Hey, fantastic, a Calico machine pistol. Only slightly more effective than harsh language. I swear this is an exercise in futility. The combination of an extremely low damage weapon and an extremely high hit point enemy means that we could be here all day if I put this up. Let's find something else to do. And I say good riddance. Here's something we can actually use. Eight left. All right, we're out of here. Huh, looks like they're not interested. Well, here we have a spooky Mayan temple thing, and the ceiling tiles fall out sometimes. I'm not sure what triggers them. Now, I think if I just walk under it, I can set it... Ah, there we go. Uh-oh. Here we are folks, the final stretch, the final showdown, and the T-Rex is climbing a mountain for some reason. Well, I guess we'll just climb up here and prepare ourselves. Oops, gotta watch out for those. Well, we'll just truck on up to the top of this Mayan temple here, which I'm not entirely sure is historically accurate, but hey, it's Trespasser. Who's really gonna be looking that closely? This must be as far west as the Mayans ever came. It's like looking at the edge of the world. And what better place than the edge of the world to finally fight a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Uh. Now would you look at that, the T-Rex has the whole neck compression thing going too. The dinosaurs in this level look ridiculous. Three shots. And here we go, moment of truth. Gotta get three Two. headshots or we're dead meat. Hot damn, we did it. Well, sorry, buddy. It was you or me. Well, let's get moving. Well, there you go, folks. That was part one of the ascent. Usually, this run up the mountain here is a little more interesting because those raptors usually follow you. Doesn't always happen, though, and they certainly didn't expect you to carry that toxic rifle all the way out here and take down the T-Rex, so we've got ourselves a 
nice, friendly little stroll up the mountain instead of a run for our lives. Now we're going to go up here and take care of the last challenge of the game, the collapsing bridge. It's this little toppled over pillar thing we got to run over and hop over a gap. Only thing is it collapses under your weight, so you got to be real, real quick about it. I gotta tell you, there are not many things as frustrating as beating this entire level and then falling off that bridge at the last minute. No, Anne, stop it. You already said that. It's like looking at the edge of the world. Well, there you go, folks. Level 6. Tune in next time for Level 7, The Ascent, Part 2. This is Research Indicates for the Something Awful Forums. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. I'll see you next time.